हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्रतिष तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर प्रॉक्सी चेन ओके इनसाइड काले लिनक्स सो दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज ऑल अबाउट सेटिंग अप प्रॉक्सी चेन इनसाइड योर काले लिनक्स मशीन सो आई ऑलरेडी लॉग इन टू माय काले लिनक्स मशीन विद रूट यूजर देन आई एम गोइंग टू रन द कमांड सर्विस or a status okay you have to run this command and now if you find any error you can see tor service could not be found it means some the package is missing now the first step is to install the software which software tor software and you can simply install it but before that you need to update the repository sudo apt update sudo apt update and once you update this you will not fail, uh, face any error just wait first of all we need to update the repository and then we will try to install that proxy chain or the tor browser so update has been done almost done now i am going to install tor for that we just need to install we just need to type apt install tor apt install tor okay so there is a spelling mistake apt install i n s t o l install tor press y or downloading and installation and this will download and install tor browser tor inside your system once this package will be installed we need to go to the configuration file of proxy chain okay so uh, let it download and install after installation we will open the configuration file for proxy chain this is a step by tutorial so no need to hurry just keep watching and follow the steps and it will be done clear the screen package done now i am going to the configuration file using nano editor nano ide editor etc you just have to type nano etc proxy chain proxy tans dot conf you can see so you can if you, you are confused you just use proxy chain and then you can use the tab key and you can see proxy chain 4.conf this is the configuration file which comes under your system now what are the major changes you have to make inside this configuration file okay so we have to make some certain changes okay so the first thing is to remove the comment from dynamic chain so you can see here dynamic chain uh, from the upper uh, from up you can see the fifth line dynamic chain this line is comment out with the hash delete this hash okay and now it's okay now dynamic chain is there so this is the first and important ch important change you have to make then you have to comment out the strict chain you can see the strict chain is simply but you have to put a hash before this strict chain so i have just put a hash before this strict chain so second chain you have to put hash before the strict chain okay then remove the comment from proxy dns so let's look the proxy dns and we have to remove the comment we have to remove the comment from proxy dns or you can say we have to remove the hash from the proxy dns so look for the proxy dns inside this file So you can see 
proxy DNS already it has been removed the comment has been removed okay so make sure from proxy DNS there is this line is not comment out okay so it's okay once the proxy DNS is there is that line is uncomment uh, you have to make sure that you are going on the right track now at the end you have to add one line in uh, uh, at, the, at the last line of this configuration file so simply scroll down and go to the last line of this configuration file and then you have to add a socket okay so by default you can see socks for here socks for here what you need to type socks 5 s o c k s 5 socks 4 is already there and then socks 5 127.0.0.1 which is the loopback address you know the local host address or the loopback address and then you have to create the port number that is 9050 okay. you have to do as it is and then you have to save this file and restart the service so press ctrl x then press y to save enter saved and now restart the service using the command service store restart okay there you can see there is no error it means it is running correctly okay so it is running correctly means everything is okay now for uh, just for testing proxy chain uh, i'm just going to use proxy chain command so proxy 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 and the command is change proxy change and then uh, i'm trying to open firefox okay firefox browser and i am trying to open bing with proxy and you can see proxy chain config file it is found file found this one and you can see uh, can't load firefox probably a typo Okay, we have made some mistake in the command we have made the firefox spelling mistake f i r e firefox okay and now wait you see it's loading and we have successfully configured proxy chain inside the uh, inside our system and i have opened the bing using the uh, proxy so how to open any website using proxy i have shown you the command how you can use it now there is you can also test for dns leak test you know dns leak test so you can just google about the dns leak test and then you can test that dns that whether you are able to be tracked or not so you can see i have opened this and with you can see and uh, you can see the language it's from france network okay so but i am in india but it's showing the france network you can see the english like it's a language on this <coughs> and you can also see the news here so what does this mean this means by default it's uh, uh, indian like i'm in india so it, it should open the indian website but it's opening the france it means the traffic is coming from coming through the france now go for dns leak test dns leak test dot com i think dot com or dot org let's let's open this first dns leak test dot com and you can see it's showing our traffic is coming from switzerland okay so this our traffic is coming from switzerland <coughs> So this means that you are safe, you are anonymous, your proxy chain is working fine and you are like using right now, uh, if you are uh, going to any website or any server or any machine, they will think that you are coming from Switzerland, the traffic is coming from Switzerland but actually the traffic is from India, okay, but right now in place of India it's showing Switzerland and you can see it's showing the different city and different country and 
if someone try to find out someone try to trace this ip they will find this ip from different countries switzerland so in this way you can be anonymous you can hide your entity identity using which one using proxy chain and this way you can configure uh, proxy chain inside your kali linux machine i hope this will help you to understand and it's uh, configured but if you find any difficulties you can ask me through the comment section okay guys so see you in the next video watch it and enjoy it